Number B. For these students, it's a beacon of hope. This school at the Central Methodist Church in Johannesburg is giving the kids a semblance of normalcy. It is good, but the facilities is not good, no desk, no chairs and stuff like that. But for South African authorities, the church is a blight. For the past five years, the place has not only been a school, but a home for up to 2,000 migrants who have fled Zimbabwe. Unable to find jobs, the homeless spend the night crammed into the church's hallways. It's not my own fault to be here. Home is best. I was supposed to be in, on my, in my country, but because of the difficulties, I can't be. If they send me back home to Zimbabwe, I will die. But local authorities claim poor sanitation is a health hazard. And recently there have been more serious allegations of child sexual abuse. There is a move to close the place down, putting church leaders on the defensive. I can understand the anxieties around cleanliness and fire hazards and the rest of it. I really can, because we struggle with that. But we need the government's help, because in actual fact, I do think that in some ways we're doing the government's job for them in a small way. Varin says for now, local authorities are not providing any other options. He's made a mission of sheltering the migrants, but his recent suspension from the Methodist Church is making his job increasingly difficult. <laughs>